with Jeff. Can you just uh, kind of go over what the umpires told you about the inside the park home run? And then also um, what you're thinking was kind of sticking with Osmond there in the eighth inning? Yeah, first on the inside the park home run, there's um, – well, one, I've never seen it. But um, it's when – there's a – the rule doesn't – there's no rule allowance for a player being wedged or lodged into a wall or a fence or anything like that. It's all obviously set up for the ball. So the fact that nobody was holding him or impeding him from the physical standpoint or the opposition – the fact that he got his foot caught in a fence, it doesn't matter. So they let the play happen, and then they make the assessment as to, you know, was, was someone holding him, the fan or something like that, which clearly they weren't. So it's just, it's just a home run. I mean, it's something I've never seen. And, um, but that's, that's what the rule is. The uh, second part of your question um, relative to Osman. Uh, you know, he's throwing well. We still felt like there's six outs to go with the heart of their order coming up with lefties. Um, so it's more of a, you know, trying to match up piece. And, you know, we were, the, the plan, you know, going was to get once the infield single happened, he walked them. We didn't want to walk. We knew that they were going to be bunting with nine hole. So we, we pitched to him, but the plan was to, you know, take Graham through uh, Williams just with the left on left and you know when we hit the guy that's given us the out on the bunt you know we didn't we didn't uh, plan for account for that but it, it was more of a matchup thing and you know I mean I'm I kind of knew this question so you know what happened but this is this is what you're talking about when you you, know, you remove some of the depth on the we had what we didn't have a left-hander uh, in the pen so Graham is our only left-hander in the pen at that point and so we had to stick with him longer than in a traditional sense what you would dictate, but we didn't have another lefty to neutralize the matchups after. So that was the basis of the decision. Alex? It's kind of been a, a long back and forth game like this. What were maybe some other than that eighth inning, some things that may have stood out to you tonight? I like the way we played. I mean, I, I thought we played hard. I thought we competed all the way through. Um, you know, they're a good ball club. I mean, I, I mean, we have to play our, I mean, I personally feel we got to play a, a really, really good and clean baseball game to beat them because the offense is real. And, um, and you know, and that's why I'm disappointed because I've, I felt like our, our kids played hard. I, I can't sit here and say we deserve to win because clearly we don't. We didn't because we didn't do what we needed to do in the eighth inning. We, we handed it to them basically kind of like we did last night. So, but I, I, I'm not faulting the effort. I thought our guys played hard. I thought they were into it. We just didn't execute in a couple situations. And I've said this before, you do that in this conference, that's normally what's going to happen. The margin of error or the, the, um, the fine line between winning and losing. And, um, you know, we, we didn't get it done. So, but I, I, I'm proud of the way the guys played. I'm proud of the way they competed. And we just got to find a way to be better in those latter uh, innings and close it out when we have a lead. That's what we need to do, period. Jacob? Is that kind of the conversation after a game like this between you and the players just about closing out late in games? What, what, what is it like after a night again where you feel like the execution wasn't up to par? Well, I mean, execution in that inning, but – you know, it's, it's a fine line. you got a young ball club that's, that's competing hard, you know, so I'm not going to beat on them relative to that. you you, you got a guy that if, if we're stacked with the way that, you know, we anticipated being with the bullpen that you could we overextended him, so that's not necessarily his fault. Um, so what I'm looking for there is just make sure we're continuing to compete. And if we play like that, we compete like that, and we do that over the course of the season, uh, I, I, I truly believe that we'll be on the uh, positive side of the, the win-loss ledger at, at, at the end. But these two games, obviously, it didn't happen. And we're going to keep playing. And if, I, if I know this team, and I'm a pretty good idea of this team, we're going to keep playing. So we're not going to roll over. Jack? Hey, Coach, circling back to the inside the park homer, did you feel that Hunter did the right thing given the bizarre situation that he was in to just kind of throw his hands up and hope for hope that it would get called his way? Well, consider – I mean, I, I don't know what his, you know, 
line of thinking was, but considering his foot stuck, he tried, you could see it. He was trying to yank his foot out and get it out of there. Um, and I, I didn't know there was no rule. Um, so I think he probably thought it was his, the best thing to, you know, to, to keep it at a double, but now I guess all of us know the, the rule. There is no rule on that. So. Jacob. Uh, Tracy, tonight, Sean McLean reached 20 games consecutive hitting uh, streak. Just curious what your thoughts have been of him this season and kind of how well he's been performing in the middle of your lineup. I love what he's doing. I mean, he's, he's thrown together some really good at-bats and playing good, solid baseball. And, and um, you know, I, I'm proud of – he's put the work in and I'm proud that he's getting some personal results on that. But I think if you ask Sean, he would trade all of those hits and streaks and all of those things for a team win. So um, good for him. And, but, you know, he, we're going we're gonna to need that performance and his leadership on the diamond to uh, win baseball games down the stretch. But, yeah, I mean, in, in the silver lining a little bit, that's, you know, good for him that he keeps that going. Jeff? We haven't seen um, long pitch for a while. Is there, there any particular reason for that, or is that just the way it's played out? I didn't hear who you said. Long, Ethan Long? Uh, yeah, he's just – he's tender in the shoulder. So we, we've been – I thought I've talked about that before. But, no, he's, he's a little tender, so we're being cautious with him. And uh, he's not, not available currently. Any other questions for Coach? All right, thanks for the time, Coach.